வெல்கம் டு லேர்ன் வித் ரிவிங்டன் யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லிசன் டு அ ஸ்மால் இன்ஸ்பைரிங் ஸ்டோரி கைண்ட்லி பே அட்டென்ஷன் டு த நியூ வெக்காபுலரிஸ் தட் யூ கேன் லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ஸ்டோரி அண்ட் த ப்ரனன்சியேஷன் ஆஸ் வெல் ஹியர் வி கோ One day, a small opening appeared in a cocoon. A man sat and watched for the butterfly for several hours as it struggled to force its body through that little hole. Then it seems to stop making any progress. it appeared as if it had got as far as it could and it could not go any further so the man decided to help the butterfly he took a pair of scissors and opened the cocoon the butterfly then emerged easily but it had a withered body and shriveled wings the man continued to watch because he expected that at any moment the wings would open in large and expand to be able to support the butterfly's body and become firm but neither happened in fact the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a withered body and shriveled wings it never was able to fly what the man in his kindness and his good will did not understand was that the restricting cocoon and the struggle required for the butterfly to get through the tiny opening where god's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into its wings so that it would be ready for flight once it achieved its freedom from the cocoon sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our life if god allowed us to go through our life without any obstacles it would cripple us we would not be as strong as we could have been never been able to fly a famous saying goes as follows i asked for strength and god gave me difficulties to make me strong i asked for wisdom and god gave me problems to solve i asked for prosperity and god gave me a brain and brawn to work i received nothing i wanted but i received everything i needed let us live our life without fear confront all obstacles and know that you can overcome them listen to the story as many times as you can watch share and comment 
subscribe for more videos. Thank <laughs> you.